funny story about Luke and I's first date. We're ready for Brody. Oh my goodness. Brody. Boo. We're doing a lesson with one of my girls who is going to nationals. So here I am for the first time. Luke gets to meet Brody. Super regionals happened and we left and we haven't been back home since. It's our first day in clinic. It's Monday and let's do a fit check. So I got these earrings from Target, this dress from Target, the watch is Gucci. I need to put my rings on. I don't have those on yet. And then I got some little shoes from Dillard's. Let me go put my rings on. So I got my engagement ring and then my Miss Arkansas ring. And then we have a dinner tonight and I wanna wear the same dress. So either I'm gonna keep the sleeves up but I could also take them down and it be more of an evening look. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because I have a dinner right after work. And then up to the clinic. This is a little non-traditional vlog. I just needed to take a break and hang out with my family. I just had a great weekend with my family, hanging out with my sisters, making friendship bracelets for my dog, going hiking. We went on the lake because my family lives on the lake, so it was Bo's first time on the lake. It was so much fun. He was a little baby shark. So I left Omaha and came back to Arkansas and was with my parents working, hanging out with them this weekend. And now I'm back in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where I live for six years and I work in clinic. So actually, let me introduce myself. For those that don't know, I'm Lauren Ashton Weaver. I'm a pageant coach, I'm a marketer, and I work as the director of brand development for a company here in Arkansas, which is why I'm here every month. And this is where I was born and raised. So my family lives across Arkansas, and right now we're staying with my best friend Megan in Fayetteville. The reason I just left Omaha is because my fiance is a baseball coach for the University of Tennessee, and they made it to the College World Series, but now he's back at home getting work done. Me and my dog, Bo, are here in Arkansas. So this week is my week in clinic, and what that means is I work remotely most of the month, except for one week out of the month, I come back in Arkansas, and I work in clinic and with my feet on the ground at work. We'll be here for the week. We have a lot of fun things planned. With pageant coaching, I have a session, a two-hour session tomorrow night, and a work dinner tonight, um, and I'll take y'all along with me. Of course, I can't take y'all in clinic, but Y'all can see me get ready and live my life after. So here is today's look and I went for a natural lip. <laughs> Bo obviously can tell I'm leaving, so he's in my suitcase. So he'll be here with Megan's Black Lab Sage and my beautiful niece and they will be hanging out today. So he is gonna be fine. We are going to Theo's tonight, which is where Luke and I took our first date. And so I'm excited to be back there. I can't wait. Funny story about Luke and I's first date. I don't know what was going on on Luke and I's first date, but whenever we went to Theo's, we arrive and a whole, like, I swear, a whole pledge class of Kappas. I was a Kappa Kappa Gamma in college, and there were a ton of them that kept on walking in while we were waiting for our table, which there's so much that goes on beyond and before this that it's hilarious, but this is one of the things we always talk about. So all the Kappas are coming in while we're waiting for our table. Then we get seated and our waitress is a girl named Ashley that did my waxing whenever I was here in Arkansas, but y'all know I've been on Accutane and still can't get waxed because I'm like, have a fear of it that it's gonna pull off my skin, which is irrational fear. And then we sit down and the table next to us is one of my professors that I had this semester before and we really enjoyed each other and she asked for like a picture with me and all this stuff it was the craziest experience it was one of those things like you had to be there but poor Luke he's like thinks this is like my normal life as Miss Arkansas because I was Miss Arkansas at the point little did you know he was definitely more popular in Arkansas probably than me <laughs> after he went to the College World Series for sure and then we had a night with our friends and we went out with them and then like the whole night I kept on running into like people I knew which granted, like, we're in a college town, but still, it is so funny to this day. I have transitioned the outfit only by pulling down my sleeves. <laughs> we're going. Finished a work day. It is Tuesday. Like I said, I don't even know if I recorded a day. I've been going all day long. Now we're driving up to Cape Springs. We're doing a lesson with one of my girls who is going to nationals. So this is our last lesson before she heads off to Florida for the pageant. As y'all know, I'm in clinic and 
I cannot vlog in clinic. That is not okay. And when I say in clinic, for those that don't know, I work in healthcare as a marketer. I think I'm mentally exhausted right now. I'm ready to do this though. I'm really excited. I left my lipstick in the car, so we're gonna do that. And we're going to work early so we can get some things done. Here's what's on the docket today. Work and then go to my friend Christine's house and Bo's gonna come with us or with me and hang out and I'm so excited. So got my Americano half drink. It's time to head in. In the car, drinking a smoothie. <laughs> I did a call over lunch break and I'm gonna go back in the office and work. Here's a little midday check-in that I never do when I'm in clinic because sometimes I just don't even leave. Okay. We gotta go in. So it is Thursday morning, and if you followed along on my other vlogs, you know that I film from Thursday morning to Wednesday night on vlogs. But this vlog is still continuing, and here's why. I have decided that this is the most PC thing I've ever put together. <laughs> to be honest, it's been on the back of my mind, just like on the side, that oh yeah, I need to do that, I need to vlog, which is not normal, and so, I've decided we're gonna extend this one, make all the non-fun things short, because it is it is life. Take y'all into a 4th of July weekend with my family, because that's when it's really fun, all of us kids, and hopefully two dogs, so here we go. I decided it was a good idea to get the second one. the camera in the car tonight but I have to document Bo's last night and full day as an only child for the rest of his life. We love you Bobo. That's why you're getting a brother. We're ready for Brody. What do you think about your brother? Your baby brother, what do you think? Do we like him or not? Do we approve? Thinking about it? Okay, I love you, Bo. Excuse the fact my eyes are watering. I'm having an allergy attack, which really is uncomfy. I felt like this needed to be documented. Here's the big one, and here's the small one. We had to pull over in Greenland, Arkansas, the first exit out of Fayetteville to resituate because this is already happening. Also, I got my hair done and here's the final product, which is kind of a mess now, but. Now we got a two-story puppy situation down here. Big bit over here. Mom taking pictures of the boys. These are the most documented puppies. Look at that. This is the bag we brought Bo home in and it goes out on the sides. He just has one side out so you can get full air. And he has this blanket that was rubbed on his mom so it smells like her. There ain't nothing like a gas station photo Brody. shoot. Brody. Fresh out of bed, obviously. <laughs> I wanted to give a night one update. So Brody Bear slept on my chest all night. Didn't wake up at all, it was beautiful and Bo, when we fell asleep, was at the furthest corner of the bed, but he came up to my knees last night. He loved him at first, he really did. And then once I brought him home, Bo was like, I'm not sure. So I made sure to give him both scratches this morning. I woke up to Brody licking my nose at like 7.30. <laughs> Our first challenge was finding 30 qualified crew members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
dream in my car again. And here I am for the first time to play in my life. Somehow the Bonfield boys secured this one for fireworks. Look at that. Brayden, what do you have to say for the vlog? Uh, I'm on. <laughs> Big brother watching him. like a human because Brody keeps on biting him and we're in standstill traffic. It's like stop and go. I shouldn't say standstill. It's stop and go. The boys I think at this point are just over 
the car ride and we're less than 30 minutes away from home. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog, but this one is obviously with a twist if you saw the title. I just don't feel myself right now. We're going to see Kelsey right now. We're gonna talk through what she would like my week to look like to feel back on track. 